Okay, we're now joined with Mark Rowe, trainer to most of the heavyweight boxers that we know around the scene now. Mark, <laughs> stop laughing, Mark, before you tell a joke. Okay, Mark, you've got Tom Dallas um, boxing tomorrow night. Can you tell me about his fight tomorrow night and his opponent? Yeah, we've been looking at his opponent. Uh, I believe his name is uh, Michaeli Nemet. Uh, he's got a reasonable record. He's come in with 12 wins. So uh, he's definitely carrying a bit more experience. But uh, obviously I hope uh, uh, Tom comes through with no problems. Um, if we get extended six rounds, all the better, because I think he needs the rounds under his belt. But uh, yeah, I think... Uh, I think it's the sort of bout we need at this level. How much has he improved since the, you know, when you first got him in, from his debut? Yeah, he's come on a bundle. He's, um, he's starting to um, spar uh, in, in a more sort of professional manner. You know, I think it takes a little bit of time sometimes to lose that amateur, uh, that amateur mode. And uh, I think we've crossed that line now. And now it's just building on, on getting good experience through sparring and through contests. Who has he been spying with for this contest? John McDermott. Done very well. John's looking very good. Can't take another away from John, but brings a lot of experience. And I think in the gym, John's got to be one of the best heavyweights out here. You know, and uh, I'd like to think that we, we've taken something off him as well, but he's been competitive sparring. He stayed there all the way with him. Uh, so at this level, that's very good. And um, yeah, you know, I think uh, we'll see on, on Friday uh, just uh, how, how far we've, uh, we've come along there. We've got a big heavyweight clash tomorrow night, McDermott and Tyson. What are your thoughts on the fight? Uh, I think it's all, with, with John, I think it's a little bit about mind games. I think if John's sound of mind and goes in there with, a, you know, with the right views, I think he comes out a winner. I don't think uh, Fury will be able to stay with John. It, it depends on, on, on what, what mind John got, uh, John's got around him. But uh, the way he's been performing and sparring, I don't see Fury uh, staying with that. Thanks a lot, Mark. Yeah. Okay, we're now. It's Tom Dallas. Tom, what do you know about your opponent tomorrow? Well, he's had 30 fights, won about 12. I think it's won his last three, uh, and that's about it, really. Are you undefeated so far? How much does an undefeated record mean to you? Oh yeah, uh, a lot. Um, yeah, I can't lose basically. What's your ambitions um, for the coming season? Uh, to keep on, you know, stopping people winning, and then hopefully fight for a title in the near future. You've been spying with McDermott, how's he looking? That's sharp, he looks good. Um, yeah, he's fit. Um, I think he'll do well tomorrow. What do you know about his opponent Tyson Fury? What do you think about him calling out all the heavyweights? Yeah, uh, you know, he's had seven, seven wins, stopped them all. He's a big, big lump, six foot nine. But I honestly think uh, McDermott is going to beat him tomorrow. Uh, he's looking good, McDermott. Good. Cheers, Tom. So, cheers. OK, join us now, Big Larry. Larry, you're, so to speak, almost on the comeback trial. You, you've had four fights, one, one defeat. You're making a comeback now. How much has that niggled you and the, the, the reports you've had about that fight? Um, I've, I've had quite a good reports, actually, because um, a lot of people realised that, obviously, something wasn't right after the second round. And, um, you know, I, I, was, I was moving house around the time of training for the fight, still working full-time, training full-time as well, so it all just got a bit too much. So my body, body never really recovered. So after the second round, I had nothing left, basically. And um, the guy that I thought was experienced enough to know that, and he just came pouring on. Um, you know, I, I still dealt with it, and, and Frank re you know, told me afterwards that he liked the way that I handled it. And um, so for me, it, it's not a question of the guy being a better fighter than me. It's just that, you know, I made a mistake in my preparations and it won't happen again. And so the feedback I've generally got from it was, was quite positive and everyone wants me to come back in my next fight and show my worth, and which is what I plan to do. What have you changed in your training methods to the previous fights? Um, I wouldn't say it's... I've, I have changed a lot, but it, I wouldn't say it was because of the loss. It was something that I was always looking to experiment with anyway, but I've dropped almost a stone of weight uh, for this fight. And I did so by restricting a lot of my calories and upping my cardiovascular work, i.e. mainly my running. Um, I've been doing a lot of running with like Ian Napa, um, Eric Ochieng, and um, that, seems, that seems to have um, worked well for me because um, I do have a lot more stamina and I'm able to, uh, it, that's actually increased my confidence in sparring, which I'm hoping it will increase my confidence in the ring to try new things out as well. 
Um, you know, I've dropped almost um, a stone in weight. I used to weigh almost 19 stone, now I weigh 18 or just under 18 stone. So I feel better for it, feel more mobile, feel faster, still got the power. So yeah, I just want to see uh, the results of it tomorrow night. The main heavyweight fight tomorrow night, mm. McDermott and Fury. What's your opinions <laughs> on that fight? <laughs> ah, Fury, the bane of my life. No, look, I've, I, I personally feel if McDermott goes into that fight with a clear head and focused, ready, he should win the fight. You know, he's got too much experience for, for, for Fury. Um, you know, Fury's not a puncher, although he likes to think he is. Um, so I can't see him really causing McDermott any trouble during the early rounds. And I think um, if it goes through past the first three or four rounds, it's all McDermott because Fury's never been past four rounds. And um, to me, it seems like he's got a bit of a stamina problem. So we'll see how it goes on the night. But I'm going for McDermott. OK, join us now, Tyson Fury, top of the bill tomorrow night against John McDermott. How's your training been going, Tyson? Training's been going good, yeah. I've had seven weeks of uh, good preparation, so if I'm not in good shape now, I'll never be. It's a lot more different now. You're getting more sparring because previous fights you never had a lot of sparring. Why was that? Um, because basically I couldn't get no sparring in, in England or anywhere around here, so I've had to be going to Germany and get some good sparring out there with good European class fighters, so I'm well sparred up, as they say. Have you been studying John McDermott much? Um, no, not really. I leave that to the trainers, but uh, I've saw him fight twice against Danny Williams. So I know what to expect from him. So we know he's got a good chin, so you, you don't predict fights anyway. You just predict the win. You don't predict the around. But how do you think the fight will go, in your own opinion? Um, I can't really say, to be honest, but I, I'm going to try and keep my KO record intact. So we'll see. And what's your ambitions for the coming season? Coming season, <laughs> beat John McDermott. That's all. I'm not looking past that. You know, but after that... The heavyweight um, prize fire, how do you see that going? Um, I think it's anyone's game three rounds, but I think they're just fighting for the right to get beat up by me at the end of it anyway, so <laughs> whatever. Cheers, Tyson. No problem.